Hey there, my name is Jacob Williams and I'm the Townsend Union Ag Agent and today I want to talk to you about mummy berry. Mummy berry is a disease, it's a fungal disease that blueberry bushes can get. Uh, blueberry bushes are pretty uh, resilient most of the time, pretty resistant to most uh, insects and diseases, but mummy berry is one that is that can be a big problem for blueberry bushes and so if you've had it before, uh, I'm going to talk to you today about how to treat it uh, so that you don't get it again this season. So we can see here these buds have already opened on these blueberries and these blooms are almost ready to start opening up. And so when these blooms, as they're starting to open up, that's when we need to treat for mummy berry. The mummy berry disease, it starts in the soil uh, and, it's, and the spores move up and infect the blooms and the leaves of the plant uh, while it's blooming. So if we can get this fungicide on while, during bloom, That'll protect these berries in the future for this season against the mummy berry. I got all the tools that we need to make this spray right here. I got a little handheld sprayer. I've got the uh, measuring tool for for the pest for the fungicide, and I've got some captan. Captan is the fungicide that's preferred to be used for uh, for the mummy berry. I got some captan 50W. The 50W just refers to the concentration of the captan there's different levels of concentration that you can buy and any of them will work as long as you just mix it right there's also a product called serenade that you can use it's not as effective as the captan but it will work on mummy berry uh, it's an organic product so if you're trying to be organic that's 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 the option for you to use so today i'm going to mix up two gallons of captan here in this jug and then each gallon needs from from this concentration from the 50w needs two tablespoons per gallon so we're going to put in four tablespoons of captan in here and we're going to put in two gallons of water in this jug so normally when i'm mixing a, a pesticide with some water what i like to do is i like to fill that tank up Part, part of the way and then I mix in the pesticide and then I fill the rest of it uh, with the water however much water I need that way we make sure we get a good mixture of the water with the pesticide whether it's a powder or a liquid but we get it nice and mixed up in there so we don't have clumps floating around all right so I'm going to get the two so I've got a little bit of water in there I'm going to put four tablespoons And these are just four level tablespoons. This isn't uh, four heaping tablespoons like your grandmother's biscuits or anything like that. We just want four level tablespoons. There's two. Three. And all right, so we got four tablespoons in there. I'm gonna close this back up. Sealed. We're going to fill the rest of this with water up to two gallons. All right, there we go. Two gallons. Let's seal it back up. Give it a good shake. we're ready to start spraying all right so I'm about to start spraying this blueberry bush right here some of y'all might recognize this this is one that I pruned earlier this year and now we're gonna spray it but and as we're spraying we want to make sure that we're getting good contact with the fungicide on all the blooms and all the leaves because that's the site of infection for this disease it'll get into those leaves it'll get into those blooms and it'll start to spread that way so that's where we want to try to protect this plant the leaves and on the bloom so we, just, we don't have to completely soak it we want to make sure we get good contact with the fungicide on those spots
Okay, we're we're still going. So you can see we got some bees buzzing all around here. Um, and the captan that I sprayed today is not uh, harmful to the bees. The serenade, the organic option is not harmful either. Um, so that's not really a concern when we're spraying the captan, but uh, we can see pollination is starting to happen out here on this blueberry bush. The captain application that I made today needs to be made every seven to 10 days, as long as those, these blueberry bushes are in bloom. Uh, to have the maximum effect of uh, against the mummy berry. So uh, just keep that in mind. If we're having some really wet days, then you're gonna need to be more on that seven day side. If we're having some drier days, you can kind of stretch it out more towards that 10 days. Um, but thank you all for watching today. And if you have any questions about mummy berry or treating your blueberry bushes for mummy berry, uh, just contact your local county extension office and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you.